Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's gaming video is about Cadence Bond menu, which is made for Grand Theft Auto 5. And the best part about it is it works in the online sessions and uh, it's totally free. So the first thing first, uh, you need to head to the Google and uh, in the search bar you have to paste this link. I'll drop it in the explanation of the video. You just need to search it and uh, you have to download this file this, this is the whole menu file you can just download it from this button and when you download it it might say that uh, it has some virus shit like that you know you know it always does does like that but you aren't really gonna believe that as usual so when you download it it will look something like this so from here you just need to extract it and after extracting uh, it is uh, advisable to put it in the downloads folder or in the directory of your game because uh, the the trainer uh, it only works if there are administrator privileges so for that thing we have to put it in the downloads folder or in the game directory it is better if we put it in the downloads folder so it's basically from the cadence website and uh, it's open source uh, but uh, i have uh, included this link in my google drive so people can uh, easily download it because in the website there are always some kind of uh, sign up or shit like that and everyone is just frustrated at the moment so i included the link and uh, then what you have to do is uh, you just need to head into your GTA 5. Uh, first of all, you need to head into head into your GTA 5. After that, you will load the trainer. Before, if you load it before, it will look something like this. It would if you do it before heading into your game, it will say something like this. Unable to find GTA 5 process. Okay. So what you have to do is head into your GTA 5. and from here once you are on the loading screen it will start working before that it won't let me just show you a real quick So once you are in the loading scene of your game, uh, from here uh, you can just go to the folder where you put your trainer and from there you have to load this file modest menu. When you load this, it will say that uh, blah blah blah, you don't really have to give a shit about this message, it's just shit. So then you just need to head into the online and I'll show you how you can use the trainer. So once you are in your game, you just need to press F5 and uh, you can just uh, do many many things with this trainer. First of all you will be seeing some other colors like uh, I have in black and white. You might see some other colors and uh, it will be in the uh, left position of the screen. But uh, I have set it according to my needs. You can just head into the menu settings and you can do the same as I did and then you just need to press this save config and it will save and every time you need the load, uh, you click the loader in the folder uh, you start the trainer it will uh, start from the point you left so in here we can do many many things from the player menu i can just go board more waterproof vacuolance uh, and uh, many things help boost other things wanted level zero never wanted freeze super jump and uh, many other things uh, at last up, up, up. and uh, other things we can do is uh, from the online vehicle spawning we can spawn vehicles and uh, from online services we can do many many things uh, if I even show you everything here 
uh, you might not understand uh, shit because uh, you are not seeing how it is going so you can uh, see how it works yourself and uh, here is the uh, RP level you can just uh, increase it and uh, set your RP according to the one you want so mine is right now uh, 1026 and I'm not gonna change it right now so yeah that's it for the video and uh, one more thing uh, let me just uh, quit the game and uh, I'll tell you One more thing which you do need to do and uh, is that if you have a keyboard uh, which doesn't have the numpad like uh, on a laptop uh, then you can't use the trainer without a specific config uh, so for that uh, you just need to head into your mod folder and here there you will see a file named config.json so you just need to open it with the notepad and uh, you just need to change the the ones which are under the menu head so i'll just uh, drop them in the explanation and you can just uh, copy paste it and uh, yeah that's it if you do have a numpad you can use it right away otherwise you will have to uh, change it according to this and then you can uh, use your arrow keys to operate the menu so yeah that's it for the video hope you like it Kindly subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Thank you.